What's up HyperX family? Welcome back to the third episode of the World of Warcraft Legion introduction to PvP series that I've been running on the HyperX YouTube channel. Um, today is going to be something that I haven't really done uh, very often. I've really not released this on my, on my channel very often and I think that today is a good opportunity to show you what it's like to lose an arena game and also why I lost the arena game and how you can take information away from my loss and hopefully be able to take more information away from your own losses from here on. So with all that being said, um, I'm going to be jumping into an arena game pretty quickly. And I wanna show you this game because one, it's at pretty high MMR, and two, it's actually going to be very, very fast paced. It's a, it's a Fire Mage, Windwalker Monk, Holy Paladin team versus my team, which is Holy Paladin, Arcane Mage, and Arms Warrior. So Arms Warrior is going to offer a little bit more consistency than the Windwalker Monk, but Windwalker Monk can actually stay on me more often. Um, so that means that the, the Windwalker Monk can disrupt me more, but the Arms Warrior is going to offer more damage consistently. Um, however, the Windwalker will have huge amounts of burst whenever he does Serenity. And then Fire Mage just has the ability to survive longer than an Arcane Mage does, because they have Cauterize, they have Cauterizing Blink, they have ways to survive like Dragon's Breath, and a lot more, I guess, overall consistency, but they have a lot less damage than I do. So our team overall has more damage, their team overall has more consistency, survivability, disruption type of things. Um, so this is about 2450 MMR, we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into it. Uh, and the Fire Mage on the enemy team is going to be um, starting off in invisibility first, but he doesn't actually use it uh, very like, efficiently, so he, he uses his invisibility right as the gates open. Whereas I actually wait in the room in order to get that invisibility late so that I will have more of a duration of invisibility than he does. So that means that I will be able to get that opener off assuredly since I will be invisible whenever his invisibility ends. And then I use mass, um, mass invisibility to land a polymorph on the Holy Paladin coming up right now. Um, but there's a really important thing that happens that I want to note. Okay, so they actually outplay us here, right? So the Holy Paladin uses his Hand of Sacrifice. I know you can't really see it too well because it doesn't show up anywhere in my interface, but the Holy Paladin uses his Hand of Sacrifice, which means that my polymorph doesn't do anything. Um, you just instantly can get out of it because of the uh, Hand of Sacrifice ability on the mage, and then the mage also uses his Temporal Shield, and then they do a huge amount of burst damage with their Serenity Combustion combo, which is really, really huge, and this forces me to in, uh, Ice Block instantly. So their proactive play and their game plan helps them achieve the Ice Block out of me and make me force my defensive cooldown very, very quickly, whereas um, we weren't able to do that, right? So with that being said, like what we're doing now is actually going to be trying to do a huge amount of burst damage to this mage. I've got four arcane uh, chargers ready to go. I've got my arcane power, and there's actually a blessing of protection being forced out onto the enemy mage because they know that we're about to go offensive. So I spell steal that. Um, this is pretty a solid offensive play. Uh, and I get an arcane missiles off and a double arcane blast presence of mine. And then he actually spell steals my uh, arcane power, and then he also spell steals my um, Blessing of Protection back. But then the Holy Paladin just heals him to full. So the problem was is that we weren't able to really like solidify CC onto the Holy Paladin. And then I went offensive at a point where I didn't really need to. And I feel like I'm, I'm kind of the one who lost this game. I feel like that's pretty fair to say. Because right now, another huge point that I, I messed up on was I actually have three Arcane Missile Charges and they just run out. Uh, and that's really bad. There's a there's a point where mages can't blink anymore. When they can't blink, they can't dodge your arcane missiles, and that makes it so that they're really vulnerable. And I just don't take advantage of that. I don't use my highest damage ability, especially when the monk is fully polymorphed. Um, it's just really really unfortunate that I did not do this because this probably would have solidified some damage really quickly. As you can see, we go offensive here, and this was cool, but it was about 10 15 seconds too late. We forced out an ice block, whereas we could have forced out more. We could have done more. Um, and been more offensive quicker, which would have, in my opinion, allowed us for more opportunities to win the game um, in the next minute and a half or so. So the enemy Windwalker Monk uses his Serenity, and I'm so focused on being defensive here that I just polymorph him instantly. I juke his Spearhand Strike, which allows me to survive a little bit more, and then I Prismatic Cloak Shimmer for that Blessing of Protection spell steal. Um, so this makes it so that the Mage can't stop Blessing of Protection from getting off of me. 
And then also the Windwalker Monk is not able to do damage to me at the same time. So that's really good. So he, he actually does get that Blessing Protection, but then I steal it back again. And I mass Invisibility. Um, I try to use my Mark of Aluneth, but Bert kind of outplays me with his Blink and I just don't get it off. And I, there's just so many points throughout this game where I feel like I'm just not doing enough damage. Like you can see my damage is about half of what my warrior is doing. And I was just so focused. Ever since I had the Ice Block in the beginning, I feel like I was so focused on having to do so little damage and just survive that I kind of lost the game for us. I feel like there's so many points where uh, I could have been way more offensive and I actually just die right here because there's no more cooldowns left. Like I've been so defensive throughout the game that we haven't landed to kill and I end up just dying and they put a flag of ownership on me. So that's really unfortunate. Um, and, the, and the reason why I wanted to show you this game, guys, is because you, you as a player, like you have to stick to your, your team goal. You have to stick towards whatever it is that you're doing and do it well in order to land a win. And if you're not doing that, if you're not putting that effort towards that goal and that game plan like Bert's team did and I did not, then it's very probable that you're gonna lose. Like it's it's very probable that you're going to lose because you're not sticking to that game plan of trying to win and being offensive, which is what my comp does, and being offensive on a 25 second, uh, you know, cooldown basis. Whenever Stormbolt's available, we go, we do damage. And I feel like that that wasn't really like solidified. That wasn't strong enough. And it was all my fault, to be honest. Um, I could have been way more offensive throughout that game. And being critical of your mistakes will help you understand how to never do them again. So I hope that this helped you guys. I hope that this helped you understand what a loss in World of Warcraft looks like from the more analytical standpoint. And also being able to kind of take that information and hopefully, you know, help you improve on your game or help you improve your critical analysis of your own gameplay process and help you become a better player overall. That's the goal of this series and I hope that this video did help out a little bit. Um, so with all that being said, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the HyperX YouTube channel. You can also come over and check out my YouTube channel if you so if you have enjoyed this video and you want to. Um, but that's pretty much it for today and I will see you guys next week um, for something different. Thanks for watching.